first and foremost, I just wanted to um, kind of tell you guys a story about uh, my parents. So my mom and dad are here tonight, and um, yeah. And uh, uh, per usual, they brought the Camry down from Sacramento to LA. And we have four Camrys. Um, we have the silver one, we have the blue one, we have the white, chutney brown one, and we had a maroon one. So um, we're down to three. We have three Camrys now and a Nissan Quest. And um, it's, it's actually very interesting because 12 years ago, um, when I first started doing comedy, my very first set was in, actually in Los Angeles. And my mom drove me down to go do it. And um, I, I don't know, Mom, you, if you remember this day, uh, but a lot of what we do in our career, it's the doldrums, the day-to-day -day stuff that a lot of people don't see. Um, and the day before uh, I went down to go do my first set, uh, my mom was actually let go from her job um, at, at Kaiser. And um, I still had this comedy competition I had to come down and perform in LA, and she still brought me down with my dad. And she didn't tell me at the time. She just kept a smile on her face, and she was like, you know, you can do a good job, and go be brave, and she just drove me down, and I, I, I don't know, I, I can't put it into words how much I owe you, Mom. You are a Hall of Fame mom. Like, at, like out of all the, a lot of the, and I know, you, you know, you've just been incredible. You, like, you got your, you know, you went to med medical school, and you became a doctor, and you raised me and my sister, and even on that day when I first started this journey of disappointment for you and dad, <laughs> you didn't make it about you. You didn't. You didn't. And I know there's a lot of aunties out there. Allah ta'ala, tumne se kyu kia? Why would this happen to me? God doesn't like me. You were just like, focus, eyes on the prize. And you didn't tell me about it until years later. And then I kept doing comedy and I kept disappointing them. I graduated from undergrad, UC Davis. I could have done better. I apologize, dad. And Everybody else started getting jobs and they went to med school and I kept doing comedy. And I moved to LA and actually ran out of uh, money. And I had to, I knew I couldn't get money from dad so I called mom. Uh, <laughs> and I needed money uh, just to make it, like just for like a few more months. And you gotta understand, before stuff starts clicking, nobody really believes. Like I I'll be honest, I wouldn't be winning this award if I wasn't on The Daily Show. Like let's just, let's just be real. Um, let's, let's be honest. So. My mom is dealing with all the nonsense that you get at Davats. What is your son doing? What is your daughter doing? And she's like, oh, he's trying. He's... <laughs> and she spotted me $5,000 to hold me over for several months. And she didn't tell my dad, and we're telling him now, so. <laughs> but I, I'm so lucky to have you as my mom. I, I, I really, really lucked out. And Everybody says, everybody says, like, my, my parents are the best. Your parents aren't the best, mine are. Um, <laughs> like, for real, your parents are whack. Like, no, 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 we have great parents. But my parents, they were so special because you guys never folded to Lok Yakenge. Every time, what, which means what will people think? And I don't know if you guys know this, but every time an Indian father says Lok Yakenge, a star actually falls from the sky. Did you guys know that? <laughs> And they got so many Lok Yakenges and they kept supporting me. I don't know why. And um, I, I really appreciate you. You let me become the person that I wanted to be. You let me pick the career that I wanted. You let me marry the person that I wanted. And you didn't let me become just a diet version of myself. So thank you, Mom. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I, I also, um, I got to thank my dad. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Now, my dad is, is one of the most charming, charismatic people I've ever met in my life. Um, he is the greatest comedian ever living uh, I've ever met in my life. Uh, just some of the things that he's done and everything that he did and sacrificed and to raise me. And I know I put you through a lot, Dad. And he didn't know how it was going to turn out. And um, I hope it turned out OK. But I just want to let you and Mom know that everything I do, I do, I do it for you guys. And I just want to make you guys proud. That's all that's ever mattered to me in the world. And, um, I also, I want to thank my wife, Bina. Uh, Bina is uh, 
a, a ride or die person. I've known her since college, and she's one of the first people to believe in me when I didn't believe in myself. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for not getting a rishta and for believing in me and sticking with me. That means a lot because there's a lot of couples that are like, when did you guys meet? And it's like, I met when he was a cardiologist. Like, oh, good job. When the bank account was just right, it worked out. Like, you had my back when I didn't have anything, and, I, and you've always taught me um, that life is so much more than just IMDB credits, and you taught me to be a good person. <laughs> no, like, she makes sure that I like, respond to emails, and I'm on time, and I'm polite to people, and all of those things that really, really matter, and you're the one that's taught me that it's not what you do through your accomplishments, it's how you treat people and the way you make them feel. And people, everybody who's met my wife, Bina, loves her, and I just wanna be as, li like, as lovable and as likable as you. You're one of the best people I've met in my life. Um, so also, th this award wouldn't have been possible without all my friends uh, that helped me along the way. Um, I honestly, I lucked out because uh, my friends are more talented than me. Asif is funnier than me, Prashant is a better writer than me, Imran has great vision, Aristotle helped me make my own audition tape to get me The Daily Show. Ali Balouk starred in that tape that Jon Stewart saw that got me the job. Thank you guys so much. All my brown friends, we, like, we rallied together, we did it. This is ours, I appreciate it. I don't know what this means, but it's ours. <laughs> and um, thank you. Uh, and, and finally, I, want, I just wanna thank uh, the OGs and the ones that came before us. Uh, Farhan Tahir is here tonight, give it up for Farhan. Um, and Mr. Takai, you guys paved the way for us to do what we wanna do these days. And a lot of people don't know this, the, uh, the, all the auditions and the casting sessions without camera, and you guys had to fight all those battles so that we could continue to carry the torch. I appreciate you, we're warriors, we all need senseis, thank you. Uh, I tip my hat to you guys. And last but not least, um, the younger generation, I just wanna say, uh, keep going and um, a lot of times what's happening in the country is a lot the older generation will tell you hey with all this Islamophobia and horrible stuff that's happening just be twice as good be twice as good and to me that sounds like be twice as good to ask for half as much and I want you guys to have the audacity to work twice as hard and be twice as good to get twice as much um, so Thank you guys so much and good night, take care.